if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet click subscribe and click the bell notification button and that'll let you know when we put out new content give us a thumbs up and share this content with your friends we're confident you have friends in an urban setting just like this who need some inspiration to grow a little food for their family it was about three weeks ago we started our tomatoes and our peppers and here's where we're at we are um, let's see this is the cotyledon this is the first set of true leaves so we're on our second set of true leaves and I tell you they smell so good I love touching the tomato plants so they are just some beautiful seedlings um, they will be ready <clears throat> to transplant out of these pots this weekend I will go up to a three inch pot and uh, and then they will stay there until uh, probably the end of March and then they will go into the three gallon grow bags I had another short day of work today so I went and picked up more material to do some more raised beds and I got some more dirt um, I got this from a different place and this is a this is a different different dirt so you can see these raised beds are they're starting to rot um, I think I've been here for three or four years but it's time for them to go and we're gonna do the same style as that hi hi how are you Good. it's a mess over there uh, get ready to do raised beds right here we're gonna do the same style as that but only about 13 inches tall That one's built. We just got to get it in place. But I think we are going to have a date night tonight. And we are going to the auction. If you look right in there, that's a crown. That's a strawberry crown. Right? So new vegetation, everything's going to, going to originate from right there. And when you separate it, it's, it's kind of a woody uh, root system. When you separate it, you're going to have these beautiful long roots. And what you want to do is, if you're going to put them in pots, don't cut those roots or anything off. Just take and wrap them. Just wrap those roots around that woody portion, and it's going to be just fine. Stick it down in your pot, and put the soil around it. 
make sure when you do that, don't cover that crown up because if you do, <clears throat> you'll kill the plant. Here's a great example of what that looks like. So there's multiple crowns right there. And what you can do is just, you can literally just take and snap that off, right? And with it are going to come some roots. Yeah, this one doesn't have the same mass of roots that the other one did, but it does have roots. There's actually two crowns here. So there's there's one there. Let's clean that up. There's one crown right there, and then that's a second crown. So I'm actually going to, to break that twice. We don't have a huge mass of roots, but there are roots. If you see that right there. So I'll just take that, same thing, just wrap it around that crown, right? And stick it down in your dirt. When you order strawberry plants online, this is what you get. It's, it's called a bare root transplant, right? And it's, it's a crown with some roots on it, right? And it'll be wrapped in paper towel, uh, to protect what roots there are there. Um, there, so take a look at this. So this is the, the primary plant that all of those babies came off of. And here is a crown, and you see these are roots. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and take that off of that primary. And that's all we need to get that thing started. That's a nice big plant. Wrap those roots, wrap those roots around there. Now you can pack the dirt around those pretty good. You wanna make sure you've got good soil to root contact. Beautiful little plant there. All right, so off of that one plant that I dug up, um, I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, I got 14 to, uh, brand new strawberry plants off of that one plant that was in that bed. So that's pretty cool. Um, strawberries put out runners and they'll make plants that way um, or they will, they will make multiple crowns the way this has and you just separate those and plant them and you're in good shape. Our peas and our carrots are really coming in and looking good. So we got peas all along here and there's carrots in here as well. There's our carrots. I just went back through and uh, put our drip tape back down so that I could start giving them a little bit of fertilizer. But I tell you they're starting to reach. I'm going to get a trellis up here pretty soon. I will be in good shape. Get these turnips out of here. These just didn't didn't break down. But yeah, this row's looking good too. If you look down through there, peas and carrots. I'm really excited about this. I hope it does what I'm what I'm looking for. Got some raised beds we're going to assemble this afternoon. And, uh, see what those look like. I was wondering why I couldn't see you. Why was it? Because it was turned around to face you.
having the lens cap on. <laughs> We're going to put a raised bed here just to kind of balance the yard out a little bit because we'll have the two over there. We'll have one here and our elderberry patch over there. We're probably going to build two of the, the shorter ones on that side of the world. It's pretty exciting. Thanks for watching. We'll see y'all soon. God bless. Bye.